Well, it started over lunch, and it was fish, bad fish, and uh, we were fixed up by, we had a mutual agent, and uh, Henry, will you talk about what was going on in your career at the moment? There was a lull in my acting career, and so I needed help. And so I went to this gentleman who I knew from years ago, he was my agent at another agency, and he had to talk to everybody, you know, in the company to see if they were going to represent me. Finally, they said yes. And I went back the second time, and they were taking the art off the wall as the company imploded. I finally got somebody to say yes. But in those 90 days that, the, that I was there as a client, he said, why don't you write books for children about your dyslexia? And I said, because I'm dyslexic, I have no sense of self, and I don't believe that I could write a book, period. One other time he said it, he said, this time I'm going to introduce you to my very good friend, Lynn Oliver, who knows everything about children's literature. And so as Lynn said, we met. The fish was horrible. But the meeting was great. And we, we hatched Hank Zipser right there. In that meeting, Henry told me about growing up with dyslexia and how it, school had been such a challenge for him and so debilitating, really, and demoralizing. And I related to that. I, I never had dyslexia, but I'm the mother of three sons. And uh, while they didn't have specific learning challenges, they were all difficult in school. So the idea of creating a, a, a character, a hero character, who was not, uh, who was happy with himself in all ways except that he wasn't successful in school, really appealed to me. So we put all of our life experiences together. Our kids are about the same age. And uh, we created the character of Hank, who is smart and resourceful and creative and, and funny. intelligent and funny. He just happens to stink at school. And, uh, and so it, it, that character attached himself to our hearts and, and existed for the next 15 years in books. And then realized you write what you know, at least emotionally. You write what you understand. The comedy, we, um, we just have the best time with. We'll just go anywhere uh, and, and say anything and do anything in our comedy. And we took that premise, we took that premise of um, expressing, of writing a story, and put it into the, uh, our newest, newest novel, which is um, Alien Superstar. That we are all the same under whatever you think you look like or whatever you th somebody else thinks you look like. Don't judge a book by its cover, no pun intended.